The controversy at the White House, a top aide to the president leaving under a cloud. Allegations of abuse and now the question, who knew about them before now? ABC's Maggie Rooley has details. As staff secretary in the White House, Rob Porter was playing a prominent role in the West Wing, standing side by side the president as allegations of domestic abuse swirled around him. Now new questions of who knew what, when. Sources tell ABC News that high-level aides knew about the accusations for months, but were not aware of the extent until Porter's two ex-wives told their story to the Daily Mail and the online publication The Intercept. When the story first broke, Chief of Staff John Kelly called Porter a man of true integrity and honor. He then issued a second statement saying he was shocked by the allegations. There was no place for domestic violence and, quote, I stand by my previous comments and believe every individual deserves the right to defend their reputation. Just three months ago, Kelly said this. You know, when I was a kid growing up, a lot of things were sacred in our country. Women were sacred looked upon with great honor. The allegations against Porter are detailed and disturbing. His first wife, Colby Holderness, releasing a photo of her black and blue eye, saying Porter punched her in the face more than a decade ago. His second wife, Jenny Willoughby, spoke exclusively to the Washington Post. So he came and grabbed me by the shoulders here um, and, and pulled me out of the shower in a rage. Porter denies all of these claims, but resigned abruptly, saying in a statement, these outrageous allegations are simply false. I took the photos, and the reality behind them is nowhere close to what is being described. I have been transparent and truthful about these vile claims. The White House says Porter was not forced out, and his departure won't happen immediately. Right now, he's still serving as the president's staff secretary. Maggie Rooley, ABC News, New York.